Last time I gave crumbs. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, geez. <laughs> oh, Holy my God, shit. he's dead. Oh, my God. And one more for good measure. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. I'm available, so if you need me for any moving needs or like, like, like pipe installation needs, I am available. I need you for a form of pipe installation. <laughs> we'll discuss it later. Welcome back to Ace Attorney. No, then we have a show. Uh, yeah. God, yes, hi. <laughs> Welcome to Game Grumps, everybody. Hello, we were about to start a new case, right? Or mm -hmm. did we start it? Yes, this is one of the most hated cases in Phoenix Wright history. Hated why? Um... Because of the characters, or the story, or both? I think it's just like, it's... There's just a lot of, like, logic leaps. That's uh, great. I don't know. Yeah, unlike the totally making sense... <laughs> <laughs> ghost lawyer shenanigans of the previous ones. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. <laughs> Is it me or am I the Barker? The world's greatest magician. The one, the only. Pink guy. I am a mind freak. Mind freak. <laughs> When he throws the tree. There's no reality! <laughs> <laughs> Love that song. No, oh, he disappeared. Damn. Does that mean he's dead now? Wow. The earth was smaller than I remembered. December 26th. Very big circus. <laughs> 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 Wow, that was like being in a dream. Who's that fucking weirdo in the back? I haven't even caught my breath yet. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, and what else? And a lion that mauled several people. <laughs> Not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Max Galactica! He was absolutely fabulous! Max he Galactica is a great stage name. He's fucking abfab. Huh? Wait, Max? Max Galactica! The world's greatest magician! A magic -ition? <laughs> No, a magician! Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? No, that's No, it's actual. actually far less impressive yeah. than what you do. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? The only thing it channels is bullshit into your eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that was a fun little romp. Yeah. Listen, Pearl, you're eight. It's time you learned. There's no such thing as magic in the world. What? It's a cruel place where everything dies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go get some popcorn. Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Kurain Village. And it was during that trying time that I met pearls. I'm a part of the cast now. <sighs> Thankfully, she seems to be recovering <laughs> from it and is returning to her normal self. Not that I'd know what that is. I'd never met her before. <laughs> oh, it's time, that's true. <laughs> it's time to go. Uh, back to good old the pearls we never knew. Uh, you're right. We can't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right, Phoenix. <laughs> oh my God, like she's like, you're right. We can't. <laughs> we can't miss the last train. <laughs> pearls, your voice. You remember the train. Of course I did! Wait, is it Pearl or Pearls? Her name is Pearl, but Phoenix calls her Pearls. Pearls is just like a nickname? Yeah, and Maya calls her Pearly. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> but I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. It's a train that goes fast. Well, next, see you later! I'll come by- Have fun with that express train explanation! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great! I'll come by the office! Clean the office! It's gotta be spotless for the new year. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it, really. You're going to visit Nick? 
like Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I'm glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly, look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Big Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that phrase in years. <laughs> I really hope it will turn out that way. Oh, man. December 28th. Yeah, December 31st, like 4 p.m. quitting time, and everyone's like, see you next year. And you respond with that gif of the kid, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> see you next year. SpongeBob meme. Yeah. <laughs> well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Phone. Beep. Hello, this is the right and cut. <laughs> oh, Maya, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping for something terrible. <laughs> Things are happening here too. Terrible here too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Uh, my dirty office. My dirty office. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick. I, you have to turn on the TV. All right, but it sounds like someone's trying to change the subject because <laughs> they don't want to clean my office. The TV. Now let's check. Now, now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. Love throngs. The very, I mean, the very big circus. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Uh, arrested who? Max! Oh, thank God he's alive. They arrested Max Galactica. How did they find him? <laughs> <laughs> Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. He recently made a knife disappear into someone's chest. <laughs> Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh, what? See you there. You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. Don't lawyers need to be hired by someone? <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't just like, Oh, dude, your cape rules. Figured I'd represent you in a court of law. <laughs> what? Beep. I need to fucking examine my office. Let's go. <laughs> examine. It's dirty as shit. <laughs> Hello, my favorite guard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Missed you. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe, Maybe you should ask Max, the guy who killed someone. Th that we're here to see. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! This is so reminiscent of, um, who is the superhero who would never kill someone in the first Phoenix Wright? Oh, um, the Samurai. Steel, yeah, Steel yeah, yeah. Samurai. What the fuck is his name? The Steel, the Endless Samurai. Mm. Eternal Samurai. Samurai Glenn. Cool, thanks for clearing that up, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? I have a what are 13 or 14 wrong names for the person we were trying to remember? Oh, what's his fucking name? <sighs> Fabulous. What's the name of the Phoenix Wright Samurai? Hold on, I'm asking I found Siri. This on the web. Steel Samurai. Steel Samurai, that's it. I did say yeah. that. Did you? Yeah. Cool. I thought that was a Marvel character, though, but that's a Silver Samurai. Yes. No, that's the surfer. What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? Jeez. Welcome to the visitor's room <laughs> of jail. <laughs> He's in fucking handcuffs and shit. Yeah, seriously. It's Max! Nick! Look, it's the real Max Classico! I'm peeing! All right, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. You can't have those cards, sir. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he called me sweetie! Oh, Nick! <laughs> time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card. Any card. I'd say time's running out more for me, though. I'm on death row. <laughs> this one. Uh-huh. Oh, it says I'm guilty. Yeah. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ow! He got in my eye! Ow! Ah, <laughs> oh, he got it! He got it! Nick, look, he got it! What a boring trick! <laughs> 
What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. My dark black past! <laughs> what of Maximilian's Galacticus hearts? <gasps> Max! Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you should let Nick pick a card! Uh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. Huh. <laughs> That's pick, literally a trick I could do. Like, Pick a card, Phoenix. It's such a lame trick. Huh. The large hard penis. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know that was in there. How'd that get in there? And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? I mean, I, yes, I did drive here. Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. He does not respect Phoenix. <laughs> um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Wait, what about my card? Yes, I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. If you're my biggest fan, then blow me! I just thought of that one. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? I just wanted there to be like 30 seconds of uncomfortable <laughs> silence with this music playing in the background. <laughs> Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Okay. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. <laughs> Fucking little sassy face. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what the ceiling looked like. What I should have for lunch. There it is. <laughs> Sweetie, drop porcupine head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Dude, like, this guy's trying to fuck it, get you out of jail! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Well, he doesn't know that. Oh. He's just an asshole. Oh. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe inducing, <laughs> not based. <laughs> Let's talk to this fucker. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I don't own shirts. I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you come sit next to me? You're on the other side of the glass. Yeah, I'm like, dude. Oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? <laughs> if only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyway, lately, you've, uh, you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays, they get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I yes, did indeed. A guilty verdict. <laughs> yeah, it was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy, and a bust. It was fab. The bust was me being busted for murder. <laughs> I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. Wow, so likable. I'm gonna guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magicians. Yeah, maybe that's why people don't like this case. You're trying to defend the world's biggest dickhead. Yeah. You are assigned to an exclusive contract with the Barry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do do your research, sweetie. Do I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right! You're so right! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? However, the circus, it's a dinosaur. A thing of the past. <laughs> Should right. be on TV! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Murder? <laughs> what do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract. Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of magic of match- match scholastic. <laughs> I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? It's like a magic Jurassic Park. But without the... Without the dot, but... <laughs> yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. I looks a bit down. Am I getting you horny? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so sad. 
Tell me what happened at the big, very big, very big. I killed a man. Last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? <laughs> Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Oh, well, somebody certainly rustled his berries. <laughs> Even though it was in the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? The murder? My lack of a shirt? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening, in his room. Yeah, I was the last one to see him before he was murdered. You know, he was screaming for help, and while saying, he don't was murder me. Mur yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget his last words. <laughs> Stop murdering me. <laughs> so then why were you arrested? Because I killed him, of course. Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters. That's all. Um... You're in jail! Yeah. <laughs> Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? Oh, it was awesome. It was nothing. <laughs> Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? It's a long, green, leafy vegetable. <laughs> Negative calories. I'm the one bringing in the crowds. I think I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Not really. Put a little peanut butter in that salary. <laughs> That's all you talked about? Of course. Sorry, I'm out of cards to throw. <laughs> it was a fabulous chat. What? Uh oh, this shit. Oh, okay. Just fabulous. I mean, arg. Now he's got me saying it. <laughs> What's the matter, Nick? You look like a fucking idiot. You look all bent out of shape and shit. Oh man. I fucking yeah, like meeting with Russell's locked up. I don't have any. I don't have it. Do you have anything to show him? I'm an attorney. Yeah, I guess I could show him this. Oh yeah, he doesn't know you're there yet. What's that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. Yes, Max. I'm going to make the walls around your heart disappear. <laughs> <gasps> an attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time, Max! You're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Whimper! Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Is it illegal to dip your dick in prego? Like the meat sauce? Yeah. Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Is it my prego covered pants? <laughs> but because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? They merely skimped out on my hotel for this evening. <laughs> Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit choking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. <laughs> I would do no such thing, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Anyway, the police are- Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> the police aren't really serious about all this, are they? Yeah, the police, famously known for joking around. Yeah. They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. This coffee is very stinky. Um, um. Yes? Porky, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me. I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. But a killer? That's insane. I, I, I could never. Max? I swear. I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. <laughs> okay, okay. The galactic farm. <laughs> Please, even though you're... Like... Like, on the surface more likable in this form, I kind of liked you better as the other guy. <laughs> Don't cry your eyelash off. Really? Really. Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um, Max? 
Yes. What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> What's the matter, Maya? It's really just a country pumpkin. <laughs> okay, that's kind of harsh, Maya. <laughs> it's really just a freak. <laughs> Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self now just- Oh, wait. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. <laughs> Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How did he, he got it right again? What can I say? You too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? I'm like a worm. If you cut any segment of me, it will form another Maximilian Galactica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. That's how I plan to franchise. <laughs> he didn't just call me sweetie, did he? All right! All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. All right. All right. Uh... Maybe you can talk to him and he'll be more uh, open now. Oh, well, I guess we can move. Go investigate and shit. That conversation with Russell still locked off? Yeah. Okay. I need some evidence to unlock that shit. The, um... He looks a little like... Have you ever seen Donatello's David? In the, uh... I think it was the Bargello Museum? In Italy? So there's Michelangelo's Donatello's David. Donatello's David. There's Michelangelo's David, which is incredible, and there's Donatello's David, which is also a fabulous statue and the gayest portrayal of David in the world. I love that. It's it's the best. He's like Donatello's David. There's no one in your. Oh my god! Search the web for Donatello's David. <laughs> I don't know if we can put a picture nope. of it up because it's it's got like exposed penis, but. He's wearing a hat very similar to that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's so funny. He's just like, what's going on, ladies? It's the best. And, well, because Donatello <clears throat> was gay, so obviously that sort of leaked into um, his art a little bit. And um, the person giving the tour was like, so there is no biblical uh, or historical um, evidence that David ever wore a hat like this. It's like a, a huge feathery musketeer hat. It's so great. He just wanted him to wear a nice hat. Yeah, but it's a really beautiful statue. Keep it's really the good. sun out of his eyes, you know? Mm -hmm. We're here again. Yup, but this time we're here for work. Okay, thanks for the reminder. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. I wonder if Gumshoe's here. Gumshoe's here. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Let's examine the sign. Look, look, it's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Now he's a bird. Sure the sign said, tweet, tweet! <laughs> sure the sign uh, this is very big circus. But looking around, uh, he might as well be Cirque de Galactica. The stars on his cheek sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're fucking weird. The very big top is so very big, enormous. <laughs> so very big. Yup, one look at the huge tent looming over you and you realize this is the circus. Boy, we really are waxing poetic yeah, over here. Yeah, man, just the <laughs> spicy conversation. I know, I know, it really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Okay. Maya, are you all right? <laughs> It's a snack stand. They have two dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Hot dogs, Aaron. Starry. Ha Starry. <laughs> Starry. Are you on drugs? No. Uh, <laughs> definitely <laughs> not. I'm just like aggressively nodding my head yes as I'm saying that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Candy and popcorn. They've even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Fuck you. Nick, do you think we could buy some snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. We've got snow at home! <laughs> Yay, wait a second! Snow at home, and then it just cuts to a picture of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, that's better! There's no syrup, though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. It's piss. That's piss snow. 
<laughs> this is the box office where they sell all the tickets for the circus. It's covered in piss. <laughs> they also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then why do buy one now? That is so fucking smart. <laughs> oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> if you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know I never do that to you, Nick. Buy me one. <laughs> Boom. Buy me one of those piss-covered pamphlets. <laughs> you got it, Maya. Is everything here covered in piss? <laughs> in the blue text. Is everything here covered in piss? <laughs> hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? Oh, dip. It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all the stars stay at that lodging house. Except the ones on Max Oops. Galactica's cheek. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> piss, piss, piss! <laughs> Take the piss, piss in the ground! <laughs> Nick, the entrance is right there! Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that! Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant! Did I not just say there's no elephants? You never listened to me, Maya. There's no Dolly. Not today. I guess. Oh well. I just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. It's not like we're here on business or anything. Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, options. Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, back. There we go. Oh, there's so many locations in here. Oh. Let's go to the big top first. Go. Cool. Oh, whoa. That lion is screaming in the wrong direction. Is it? Yeah, the little sound rings are going that way. He's like, ah! It's like, <laughs> That's it's like a looping point. around. The circus... <laughs> sorry. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is really all perform, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, do some somersaults! You've got it! Dun, 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 dun. I'm not doing any somersaults. <laughs> Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. The dialogue is strange in this one. Yeah. So far. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grrr. Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Grrr. Graw. Oh, fuck! He he's coming this way. Grrr. I'll voice the tiger. Yeah. <laughs> A photorealistic tiger! Run! <laughs> Our little anime legs won't take us very far. Nick, you're too young to die. Nee. Stay, stay, heal. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick, Nick, are you okay? Nick, 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 <laughs> Richard is such a cute tiger, isn't he? Uh. What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. You're sparkly as fuck! Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Ha, huh. he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. She did it. This little. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> this little tiger hardly ever bites people. Besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? Sparkle, sparkle. You agree, don't you? I guess. What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo, your costume. Please tell us your name. Eh? It's cute. I want to try it on. Costume? You mean my clothes? Am I five or 47? <laughs> yeah. You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Um, I guess not. Really? Ha, oh, you're the boss. <laughs> wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Big Berry Bird Circus Bird. I'm Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you do sparkle in real life. <laughs> My name is Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. <laughs> and I'm a spirit large. Phoenix Wright, attorney <laughs> at law. <laughs> Little ghost joke there. <laughs> when you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we look really odd. 
Nice to meet ya! Uh, likewise. I suppose we should talk. Stop bouncing. <laughs> hey, Regina! What do you know about what happened last night? Oh, you mean the murder? Boy, she's in a great mood. Yeah, of your dad? Yeah. Uh-huh. My dad was murdered, Sparkle Sparkle! <laughs> Shimmer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yup, the ringmaster was my dad. He's dad. <laughs> my I, dad's dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Um, you know, I, don't, I never really thought about it. Anyways, everyone here was here practicing last night. Even your dad? You know, yeah. who died? Yes, everyone was here. We finished around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Wow. So, oh, she's a total red herring then. They're really yeah, setting yeah, her up course. to be the murderer. Of course. Like, doesn't care that her dad's dead. Yeah, like, was yeah. the only one there. Yeah. Where Not you, guilty. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. <laughs> For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. Thank you. I wish it, you can read my mind. <laughs> yeah. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. So I'll ask about herself. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? What's the worst thing that happens? Your dad dies? <laughs> Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon was my other dad. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Yes, Leon the Lion, my dad's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, he died? He died like my dad. Yeah, <laughs> just like my dad. <laughs> yes, actually he was killed, my dad killed him. What? Why did you do that? I was fun. I'm not sure why I did that. Come on, they're fucking, they're placing her at the murder. Yeah. They're making her heartless and they're giving her a motive. Yeah. Like, of course this is a red herring. It's perfect. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Uh, I guess that's, um, I guess I could present Here's her Here's my bad, I'm an attorney. What about this? Can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never <laughs> expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Okay. Guess I'll just look around. Look! That's where Max comes out during the show! He gets barfed out of the lion's mouth! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. That's great, Regina. The live lion. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too! I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth! And your dreams! Sometimes I wonder about this girl. She's clearly into you, Nick. Who, Maya? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, those lights are huge! I love lights. I love lamp! Whenever I appear <laughs> out of the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows that you're cute. <laughs> no, I'm not cute. You're cute. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I love you! What's that face? Me? I'll kill you. <laughs> of course, I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. <laughs> a what drug. about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick? He's no hero, is he? Ouch, thanks a lot, Maya. Why is everyone so fucking mean to Phoenix? I don't know. Nick, Nick catches- Yeah, Phoenix catches a lot of strays. Seriously. Like, he'll just be standing there and people will start shitting on him for no reason. He like, seems like a nice guy. Yeah. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people could fit in the big top. He's right. We could fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing! That's over 4,000 people! <laughs> Flying around that, <laughs> flying around above that many people is a real rush. <laughs> Quote unquote. At least that's what Max said. Who's Max? He's the guy in jail for murder. Oh. My dad was murdered. Anyway, <laughs> I'm in a great mood. Ah, a ladder. Uh -huh. Really wish I just had a screenshot of this. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do 
Who cares like if my mom latter remarried? <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. Rope. Hey, it's a rope. You're really bad. A thousand Maya. <laughs> <laughs> it's great work. Probably a type for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. Oh, boy, hey. so relaxing to have this accordion player inside my ear canal. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, fuck. I guess I should leave. She said everything she could say. Hey, did you murder your dad? Yes. Okay. Cool. Case closed. You mind if I write that down for later? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me check my notes. Did it? <laughs> okay. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So wait, 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 that stoogy clown here too, right? He's so kooky. Uh, I guess I'll... Do you want to do this one? I, I, yeah, I guess for the sake of... We can switch off if it gets to be like overwhelming. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's you two. Oh, it's oh, Gumshoe. Oh, Gumshoe. Did I do Gumshoe? We, we've we've it? traded off. Yeah, yeah. You should do Gumshoe. Okay. Yes, yeah. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working at Crime Sheen, pal? Because you're always working, detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working. But with crime, you don't make your own hours. You gotta commit it. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Stupid and boring. Ted body, stage left. Nick, Nick, Nick! You gotta move the stage right, Nick! <laughs> <laughs> he completely- You're in great danger! <laughs> <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Uh, talk. Do you know who will be in the prosecu- who- who- yep. Of course, it will be Mrs. Von Karma. Miss Von Karma. Fucker! Ugh, <laughs> uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? If you're lucky. What do you have to worry about? You only have to shear in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. You know, the way they can beat police officers with no repercussions whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Ms. Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Taylor Swift! <laughs> like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. Oh, yay! What about him? You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? M Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Oh, he died. Oh, that guy died. <laughs> Nick won't tell me! Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? He's a square. Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Like he's not here. Yeah. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick? Wow, okay. Damn. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? I can't honestly remember what happened with Edgeworth. I don't think we know. Really? Yeah. He was accused of murder. Turned out to not... Be guilty. And then he bailed. And then he just peaced out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. Last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. I think most ways are a sad way to go out. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Why don't you roll around in the scene? <laughs> right about where you're standing now. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking ruining <laughs> everything. Hilarious. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Surprised you, didn't I? Anyway, uh, I can't dust for Prince now. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep. It wasn't yeet at all. It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. Yeet, that's good, right? <laughs> Yeeting is good. But I don't know what the definition of yeeting is. <laughs> But... There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. I believe yeats are used in borscht. They <laughs> used to make borscht. That's beets. <laughs> By Dre! <laughs> oh, there's always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Something unusual. What was this one thing that didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. 
footprints, pal. Footprints. This you know, the kind that have been obfuscated by your big clumsy ass feet. Fuck. Footprints. Look at this picture of a man fucking his briefcase. <laughs> Look at this picture of a Mickey Mouse cosplayer <laughs> fucking his briefcase. What is this? This wooden box under the body. As you can see, Dr. Eggman is going to town on it. <laughs> no clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And, 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 what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. Aren't they funny? <laughs> 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 they just both slowly look at him. <laughs> well, gotta get back to the precinct. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... <laughs> the killer's footprints aren't there! Bingo. What's his name -o? Where did the secret killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Where did the killer come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Obviously, there's no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit? I mean, Max can fly. That's right. That's when something just clicked in my head. It's Max. <laughs> well, I can fly. <laughs> there's no way. Flying's impossible. That's right. Flying's impossible. Absolutely impossible, huh? Watch with the hollow laugh, pal. We literally saw a flying man two days ago! I mean nothing by it, pal. Hmm. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max on him from my ninja info cards. Hmm. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, I should examine. This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy leaving all these prints all over. He did a lot of trouncing. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> We're the ones who left the prints. No, 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 no. Oh, mama me, oh, mama me. <laughs> An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes, especially when someone comes in and tramps all over the crime scene. What? <laughs> I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. You fucking idiot. Well, that was pish. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. I thought it was lemon snow cone. Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. <laughs> Symbols on a box. Symbols on a box. Window, window, window. Air conditioner. This year, I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to work, too? That's some funny fucking shit, Maya. <laughs> and what do you mean you won an- Oh, that's it. Yeah. And what do you mean you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. Oh, that's cute. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Okay. Peanut butter in my salary. It's fucking different here. The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. So they should have been on at the time of the murder. So he's saying the murder took place in the light. How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm. Boy, we really are making conversation, aren't we? <laughs> okay. ah. Oh, blue tarp. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal. The killer's behind that top. Duh! <laughs> gotcha. I was just kidding. Just a little murder humor there. <laughs> Hopefully the victim's daughter isn't ten feet from here. Was this case written by someone else? It, it does- it feels off, right? Yeah. It's a little strange. It's like Community Season 4. Yeah. Grr. It's like all the characters are there, and they're great. Ha 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 ha. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Let's go to the law, the detention center, and talk to Max. Mm. Mm. Um, do we have evidence now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a picture of the crime scene. Mm. I guess I can present. <laughs> you okay over there? Yeah, it's just it, something about his face makes me feel like he's making that sound yeah. all the time. Mm. Mm. That That's the ringmaster. I mean, that is his ass. <laughs> I'd know it anywhere. It's a shame what happened. 
He was going to be like a father to me. Hmm. Okay, bye. I guess I could present the Magatama and see what happens. Okay. Be a ruffle. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Exactly. We researched... Whoa. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth. The whole truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies. And I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Uh. Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Well, the crime scene, because the yeah, guy you're the only one who can fly. Flying, Jeebus. What's the matter, sweetie? You must have some wax build up in your ears. You haven't listened to me at all, huh? You're still not listening, are you? I said that I hate lies. It seems this evidence isn't enough to make him confess. You want to try again? It doesn't bother me at all. And maybe we'll try again next time on Game Grumps. Fuck! All right, take it easy. Fuck! <laughs> Through the controller. Good stuff.